Running. Human power coordinated by the brain. Where does the power come from? What happens when something goes wrong and a person can't run or walk properly? I'm Ben Rappaport, and I develop electronic devices that will be implanted in the brains of paralyzed people, enabling them to use their thoughts to control prosthetic limbs. Those brain implants need a source of power. This is the story of one of my inventions, a fuel cell that powers brain implantable electronics using glucose for fuel, just like the living brain. This is a silicon wafer. It's the same material used to make all kinds of microchips, including the ones inside your laptops and electronic gadgets. On this particular wafer, I've made the most important part of the fuel cell, the anode. Each one of these rectangles is a fuel cell anode made from a layer of platinum thinner than a human hair. The anode is the most important part of the fuel cell because it's where the fuel cell occupies glucose, meaning that the fuel cell takes each glucose molecule and strips away two electrons to generate an electrical current. Here we are in my lab. The square device in the beaker is one of my glucose fuel cells, which I am about to test. I am pouring a glucose solution into the beaker. The solution is very similar to the fluid that surrounds your brain. Watch the voltage reading on the left rise as soon as the glucose reaches the fuel cell. This indicates that the fuel cell is converting glucose into electrical power. This is a human skull. Don't worry, it's just a mock. Your brain lives in here. And this is a life-size model of your brain. In real life, the brain floats within the skull in a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid. The cerebrospinal fluid is produced within the brain in these hollow structures called ventricles. I designed the glucose fuel cell to be implanted within the fluid-filled structures around the brain. That fluid, the cerebrospinal fluid, contains excess glucose that isn't used by the brain, and it's that glucose that the fuel cell uses to generate power.